Welcome to Stock Invest YouTube channel and this stock report for Microsoft. The report was first published on our website January 20, 2022, but this is a more detailed version which also includes some fundamental data you need to know. In this 7 to 10 minute long video, we give you the information you need to know about Microsoft for the upcoming trading day on Friday 21st, like support and resistance levels, signals, chart analysis, price to earnings ratios, and possible trading levels. Make sure you watch the entire report so you don't miss out on some key information needed for your trading. Please remember to subscribe so we can continue to grow and give you these free videos. Make sure to hit like and notification bell so you will be first to know when we post a new video. Now just sit back, relax, listen and watch the screen as we will show you some interesting data as we move along with the report. In this section you will get some information about the current Microsoft performance to better understand the where the stock is right now. In our systems, the Microsoft stock currently holds a minus 2.929 score, and our system has ranked Microsoft sell candidate since January 20, 2022. Over the next few days, we will see how this evaluation performs. In our daily updates for Microsoft our last headline reads, Red Day on Thursday for Microsoft. The Microsoft stock price fell by minus 0.57% on the last day, Thursday, January 20, 2022, from $303.33 to $301.60. During the day the stock fluctuated 3.49% from a day low at $301.14 to a day high of $311.65. The price has risen in 6 of the last 10 days, but is still down by minus 4.67% for this period. Volume fell on the last day along with the stock, which is actually a good sign as volume should follow the stock. On the last day, the trading volume fell by minus 11 million shares and in total, 35 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $10.49 billion. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $349.67 and the lowest price was $222.42. Right now the price is 13.75%, or $48.07, below 52-week high at $349.67, which also is all-time high for the stock. The Microsoft Stock Trends, Predictions and Analyst Ratings Soon we will give you the analyst ratings for the stock, but first the trends. The stock lies in the lower of a wide and falling trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a very good buying opportunity. If the lower trend floor at $297.25 is broken, it will firstly indicate a stronger fall rate. The current three-month trend indicates a possible minus 3.24% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 4.30% and 8.02%. The 12-month trend it indicates a 46.63% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between 46.96% and 76.25%. This equals a price between $443.24 and $531.56 after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets on Thursday, January 20, 2022 Citigroup set target to $407 to $376. On Tuesday, January 18, 2022 Mizuho set target to $360 to $350. On Tuesday, January 18, 2022 Jefferies Financial Group set target to $400. On Wednesday, January 12, 2022 BMO Capital Markets set target to $355 to $360. On Thursday, January 6, 2022 Jefferies Financial Group set target to $375 to $400. From analysts Microsoft stock received a general strong buy rating. The analysts give P.E. ratio a strong buy and price to book a strong buy rating. For the return on investment the analysts give the Microsoft stock a neutral rating. In this section, we will give you some information about signals found for Microsoft. We will start with the general picture before we move on some of the most famous indicators and signals that will give you a deeper and better understanding of the trading possibilities in the stock. There are few to no technical positive signals at the moment. The Microsoft stock holds sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a more negative forecast for the stock. 
Also, there is a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On corrections up, there will be some resistance from the lines at $307.98 and $325.71. A breakup above any of these levels will issue by signals. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Friday, November 19, 2021, and so far it has fallen minus 12.10%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Volume fell together with the price during the last trading day and this reduces the overall risk as volume should follow the price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence holds a sell signal. Pivots gave a sell signal 42 days ago. Bollinger gave a buy signal 5 days ago. The short-term moving average for the 3-month chart gave a buy signal 2 days ago. The long-term moving average for the 3-month chart gave a buy signal 2 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages in the 3-month chart gave a buy signal 11 days. If we look at the 12-month chart we see Short moving average gave a sell signal 13 days ago. The long term moving average gave a buy signal 7 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages gave a buy signal 3 days. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, risk and stop loss for Microsoft. There is no support from accumulated volume below today's level and given the right condition the stock may perform very badly in the next couple of days. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $10.51 between high and low, or 3.49%. For the last week, the stock has had a daily average volatility of 3.55%. The stock has a beta of 1.17. This tells us that Microsoft is 0.17 times more volatile than the market. Let us have a look at some fundamental data you should be aware of before we tell you some possible good trading levels for Microsoft. The price to earnings ratio, P-E ratio, is the ratio for valuing a company that measures its current share price relative to its per share earnings. Microsoft currently has a price-earning ratio of 33.55. This is a relatively normal price-to-earnings ratio and often seen in business with long track record or predictable revenues. Next upcoming earnings report for Q4 2021 is expected to be released Jan 25, 2022. The consensus among the analysts are $2.31. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, Microsoft meets first resistance at $303.33. If you do not hold Microsoft shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. The stock does not have any support from accumulate volume below and may therefore fall very hard and fast given the right conditions. Caution is warned and you should not place any bet unless you're a skilled trader and know how to play these cases. Other levels you should watch based on the famous Fibonacci model are buy at $300.78, $298.30, sell at The average ratings combined from several analyst sources for Microsoft is strong buy. Here are some of the latest insider trades. On January 18, 2022 Hoya Alice L. made an inside sell of 199,723 of common stock. On December 15, 2021 Hoya Alice L. made an inside buy of 4,483 of common stock. On December 9, 2021 Warrior Padmashri made an inside buy of 7 of restricted stock units. On December 9, 2021 Pritzker Penny S made an inside buy of 16 of restricted stock units.
On December 9, 2021 Thompson John Wendell made an inside buy of 74 of restricted stock units. Based on the 100 latest insides trades, we have calculated the insider power to be negative at a ratio of minus 57.873. In total, the insiders bought 408,229 and sold 1,424,147,723 shares in the last 100 trades. We hold a negative evaluation for this stock, no stop loss set. Is Microsoft stock a buy? Microsoft holds several negative signals and is within a wide and falling trend, so we believe it will still perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. We therefore hold a negative evaluation of this stock. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For the trading on Friday 21st we expect Microsoft to open up $3.20 and start trading at $304.80. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. That's the end of this video, thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.